Here I was, standing before a legend, flinging insults at him, yapping about his ankles like a small dog worrying a bear. I suppressed a cringe and braced myself for the casual swat that would send me flying. To my amazement, however, and considerable dismay, instead of counter-attacking, he just smiled condescendingly and bent down to pick up his rucksack. I heard the faint rattle of the paint bottles within. He straightened, pushed his old-fashioned cap back on his greying hair, and looked at me with tired eyes. Young man, I... Young man? That did it. Rage swept into my veins, filling me with power. Granted I was far from voluptuous. Granted I was dressed in practical, that is, male clothing. This was not to be borne. Fear aside, legend aside, the yapping lapdog attacked with all the utter contempt only an adolescent can muster. With a surge of glee, I seized the weapon he had placed in my hands and drew back for the coup de grace. Young man, I repeated. It's a damn good thing that you did retire, if that's all that remains of the great detective's mind. With that, I reached for the brim of my oversized cap and my long, blonde plaits slithered down over my shoulders. I cranked the gun of open rudeness into position and let fly. My God, I drawled, it can think. A jolt of startlingly adult fury brought the child's smooth chin up, made the blue eyes blaze behind the scratched glass. My God, it can recognize another human being when it is hit over the head with one, and to think that I was raised to believe that old people had decent manners. It was clever. I was almost tempted to respond. On another day I might have lingered to trace this mild puzzle to its source. But if an enemy had sent the lad, it was an enemy who would soon be beyond my personal concern. If a newspaper man, assuming that there was a difference between the two categories, then he would soon have a new and unexpected story for his front page. I bent to retrieve my rucksack hearing the bottles trill their delicate siren song as I raised them up. The third bottle would have to come into play somewhere else, which was rather a pity. This would have been a pleasant sight for a last view of the world. Young man, I began tiredly, but I was to get no further. Had the child pulled out a revolver and fired it at me, he could have silenced me no more effectively. "'Young man!' he raged. "'Young man! It's a damned good thing you did retire, "'if that's all that remains of the great detective's mind.' "'And with that he snatched off his oversized cap. "'A pair of long blonde plaits slithered down the woolen garments, "'turning him into a her. "'Thus my first meeting with Mary Russell.'